Down Third Army, Joe here, and this week we are preparing for our next release, which is going to be exclusive to Lacrosse Unlimited, and we're going to be focusing mostly on the dies. Also suggested by Max from Green Star Strings a few weeks ago in the comments, yes, just to show you guys how to do an ombre die, and we thought this would be a perfect project for it. We're using three different techniques we've already showed you in these videos, which would be the fade, the solid, and layering of colors, all together to perform this ombre die. So I think it's kind of cool showing you these individual things that you can combine to make unique looks. Of course, we're going to be following the typical powder to procedure. So we're going to be heating up water, dipping the head, rinsing it off, and cooling it. Each head, though, is going to have three colors, so it's going to take quite a bit of time. But I thought it was important to show you kind of how we get that natural fade to it, where it almost looks just like one color fading. part you can just pour the darker dye into the lighter one that's already on the stove and heat it up and this will actually give you kind of a better process of combining those colors it will take a little bit more time than if you dump it out and start with new dye uh, the time is justified to really give you that nice gradient especially when you're doing colors that are so similar to each other and then if it's actually not turning quick enough what you can do is actually pour out half the water from the previous dye not the entire amount add new water heat it up and then add the darker dye in that and that should let it change a little bit quicker but we really like to just just do the more additive process because that'll give you a nicer gradient. Final step of the powder two process is to cool the head in the fridge. Once it's cool, we're gonna take it out and we're gonna give you a little pro tip on how to really finish the head nicely. For this week's pro tip, we're talking about alcohol and not that kind. Chris, we're talking about rubbing alcohol. We like to use isopropyl alcohol, 70% or higher, which you can get at pretty much any convenient or drug store. Uh, you're gonna need a paper towel. You wanna rip off one, fold it in quarters, and then just put kind of a dash of rubbing alcohol on the actual paper towel. Grab your head and then you just wanna wipe down the entire thing pretty thoroughly. Uh, what this will do is it won't remove enough of the dye to where it will kind of, you know, bleach the head, but more so we'll just clean up the whole thing and make sure it gets rid of any extra uh, pigment that is on the head because most of you guys are using white mesh or string. And if you guys don't do this, potentially what could happen is the dye can rub off on that mesh and string and ruin your custom project. So we like to just do this final step, clean it all up, make it look really nice and fancy, and then string it up. Here are the two custom Under Armour Command 2s. Here we have the fire, here we have the frost. The colors came out perfect. And then my favorite part has to be how they're kind of like a temperature gauge where the, this one fades down and this one fades up. The Caroline in the top I think is a nice shock color and then that really bright yellow on the bottom where it goes into the orange is very natural, uh, which is cool. Cause they, they kind of look like they're dipped from one color. It's just more time going in depending on what angle you're doing it. But really layering those three different colors by combining the pigments, you just get this perfect, really, really cool look to them and uh, I love them. That is a wrap on the fire and frost heads. Be sure to check in next week when we unveil the limited edition products that goes with these heads and we're also going to finish them up. If you're looking to pick up some Potter 2, definitely check the link in the description below. And I'll also link down below the other videos that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, which were the fade, the solid, and also the layering of Potter 2. Uh, combine those together and you get this technique. Uh, that's everything. Hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you on the field.